What's up guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I bought myself these little uh, hand pressing flashlights that look like pig. Piggies with LEDs in the snout. This is how the box came. It didn't come exactly shipped like it's uh, precious cargo or anything, but it was pretty cheap. I just thought I'd check it out. Look a little fun and silly. Um, but I think the whole trick of these is that you should be able to kind of pump the handle there and power the flashlight. So I'm not sure exactly how they work, but you can see there two big kind of old school LEDs there. It looks like they've kind of got these long um, kind of lenses. The lens on the top is kind of curved, plastic. The whole thing is plastic. It's pretty light, but as you can see there, oink, oink, piggy, piggy, right? Uh, so, there are two switches here. Let's see what we can figure out. One's got to release this handle. And it looks like it's this one. And if I close it, it seems like this is the lock. So if I push it in or release it there. And then this, I'm assuming, is the power for the flashlight, which it appears to be. So you can turn it on, turn it off. And this is where it looks like you're using it as a dynamo crank generator. Oh, look at that. It's coming on as I'm cranking that bad boy. Even though this switch is the power switch. I guess if you didn't want to draw the battery down, you could use this. Now, clearly, uh, it's powering the lights, which I'm actually a little surprised it's doing it while I'm while the power switch is off because I would think oh it should just kind of capture that energy and put it into the battery so that when I do want it I can turn it on and get full intensity because I can tell you that when it's off like this off like this and I'm cranking as fast as I can it's not nearly as bright as when I just turn it on so I'd almost rather just capture the energy of me cranking it and then use it in bursts now the other thing I'll tell you is that it's loud Right? I mean, that's loud. I mean, that kind of sounds like little tiny gravel rolling around in there. But it does work, and I don't know. It's kind of cute. If you have kids, it'll probably keep them busy for a while, and it will probably also give you a really great death grip, you know, when you're rock climbing and stuff. Little uh, lanyard here. It's too small for my wrist, but probably fit a kid's wrist. But it's kind of cool, and if you want to get uh, maybe your kids into awesome toys with some technology built in this is probably a good way a hand pressing flashlight uh, i have no need for this sucker so that's why i'm giving this away so like this video subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for a lot of uh new upcoming stuff i'm gonna give this one away to one commenter uh on february 4th 2017 so comment in the section below any comment will do just somewhere in the comment, put the country that you live in. Or you can just put the country that you live in. You don't have to comment uh, beyond that. Uh, this giveaway is only going to be available to people in the USA and Canada because that's where I can afford to ship it to. But uh, you'll look forward to having this on February 4th, just in time for Valentine's Day. So give it to your loved one. Peter Von Panda, out.